Hello, what's up? What's happening? Really quick, last week's game did not count, so I had to sim it again. I do apologize. I don't know why it didn't auto save when auto save is on, but you know, a lot of times EA Sports their game is malfunctioning and stuff like that even though i love them because right now they're the only ones making football games anyways man need a shoe because we sim he is out with a foot stretch factor you know that need a shoe goes 265 pounds i never seen a man that big break his foot and then come back the very next week but you know hey it is what it is man i'm not gonna complain because at least we have got some college football with the oakland tech bulldogs number 21 oakland tech bulldogs and today we are taking on usf that's right, the University of South Florida, they are coming to down with a number 66 ranked passing game and a number 97 ranked rushing attack. That's not good last time I checked, but you know, whenever people play us, they seem to give us their best effort. So hopefully we can put up some points with my man Logan Elrod. But we get the ball to Stein to kick things off and Stein is going to pick up a game to four, going to make it second and six. Dropping back the pass, then a toe in the pocket is Logan as he finds Chris Volrath, and that's going to be a gain of 13 and another first down. So first and 10 to give us to Stein. Stein trying to go around the outside, but he gets brought down for a loss of three. That's not good. But now it's third and 10. Logan looking, going underneath the coverage, and that pass will hit the grass, and USF will take over as we are forced to punt. So on first and 10, Bench is looking to fire this one to the right side. That's going to be caught by McCants for the first time today. Gain of nine, and that's going to set up second and inches. Empty backfield. Bench looking, has time yet again all day in the pocket. Going to find Adams, and Adams makes the catch, and he has enough to move those shanks. So right now, the pass rush is lacking because we do not have our big defensive end out there and need a shoe. But you know what? We're going to have to make do with what we have. And Bench throws one to the left side. Going to find Legree. And A.J. Legree makes another catch and another first down. Mack up that gut. And Marlon Mack with a gain of 16 on the ground. Gatches our defense for a big time run. And that's going to set up first and 10. Inside the 25 yard of the Oakland Tech Bulldogs. Bench has it. He's rolling around in the pocket. Has a man wide open. And that's going to be a touchdown by Alex Mutt. 23 yard reception. And they get on the board first. So now it's time for our offense to get back out there and show USF whose house this is because right now we are down. We get the ball to Stein. Stein on second and six. Picks up again in seven. And that's going to be enough to move those chains. Second and 11. Elrod looking. Elrod throwing it. He's going to find McPherson. First down. Bulldogs gain of 31 on that pass play. And we are finally in USF territory for the first time today. So first there, 10 single man set. They got the running back flex to left side. That's Stein and Stein is only going to pick up a gain of one. Play action pass now. Logan is looking to the flag and to find cross face and cross face gets buried for a loss of one. That is not a good play right there. Third and 10. Logan under pressure. Logan gets away from the rush. He's going to take it himself. No, he's going to stop and pop. Throws it deep downfield to the fullback and cross face cannot bring it in. We got to sit up for a field goal to kick us up. And the kick is good. So we get on the board with a field goal, but we are still down. We got to go to the studio for an update. Number 20, Arizona is only up by one by unranked Utah. So first then 10 for USF as they take back. Over going to find McCants in the flat for a gain of three. Second and seven, shotgun set. The Bulldogs only rush four, but it's a draw play, and they get gashed again. And Marlon Mack, he is a tough cookie to bring down and that's how the cookie crumbles yeah i said it first and 10 bench looking bench throwing gonna from mccants mccants gets brought down by omar hit hard but not until he picks up a first down and that's gonna do it for the first quarter of play the bulldogs are down by four seven to three uss on top so that they continue to march down the field. First and 10, empty set again. Bench has all day. Another out route, this time by Alex Matt Mutt, who gets brought down by McGee, but not until he picks up a fresh set of downs for USF. They go with the read option, they, and they block it very, very well. Gets away from a man. His bench gets away from another. Finally gets brought down by Bowman, but not until he picks up a first down. So excellent call right there that gashes up for a big time run. And now it's going to be first and 10 to go back to the option. West can't bring him down. And he finally gets tripped up, but he does pick up a gain of nine. 
from the pistol formation is second and one bench over the middle and that's going to be caught by Sean Price and that is going to be another touchdown right now Steven Bench he is eight of nine that's right eight of nine versus the stingy Bulldogs defense so now it's time for our offense come back on the field see what we can get going first and tell we give the ball to Isabella and Isabella gets brought down after a gain of four not a not a bad carry to kick off the drive we go up that got with Isabella again and it's another solid gain and that's gonna set up third and one single back set we run the ball again with Isabella cuts the left side up to the 40 and finally gets brought down at the 45 yard line gain of 14 for Isabella First and 10, up that guy. We get the ball to Cameron Stein, and Cameron Stein picks up 11, and that's going to be another fresh set of down. So now we go with the heavy look in the backfield. We get the ball to Stein again, and Stein is going to pick up a gain of four. I mean, a gain of six, excuse me. That's going to set up third and four. Looking as Logan throwing this one over the middle, and that's going to be caught, but only for a gain of two when we need it about four. That is not going to work. But now it's fourth and inches. Logan, he's going to audible out of the run play, it looks like. Making adjustments at the line of scrimmage. Stops, pops, takes a shot deep over the middle. And we are going to be able, we are not going to be able to pick up the first down. We have to get the ball right back to USF. So we tried to go for it on fourth down. Logan, he decided to audible out the line of scrimmage. And now USF takes over up by 11. They're going to find Bronson over the middle for a gain of seven. Second and three. Steven Bench is looking. He has all day in the pocket. Finally throws this one over to the left side. That's going to be caught by Legree. And Legree is Le killing us right now with his second catch for 41 yards. First and 10. They're up by 11 and they're on the move with about two minutes to go in the, fir in the first half. They're going to find Bronson again. And Bronson picks up again of 10. And that's going to be another first down. So first and 10. Bench looking. Bench throwing nearly intercepted by Hit Hard. But Hit Hard forgot to hold on to that one. And that's going to go into the hands of the receivers. And now Marlon Mack cuts up. Field gets put in his place by West. But he did pick up a nice gain of nine. So now it's third and inches. Can our defense keep USF out of the end zone? And the answer is yes. But unfortunately, McCants picks up a first down. So now it's first and goal at the two-yard line. Single back set. Two tight ends in the formation. And they give the ball to Marlon Mack up that gut. And now it is 21 to 21-3. Could this be the biggest upset going the other way in Oakland Tech history? Now it's going to be second and one after Shane Cooper picks up a game of nine. Logan looking. Logan under pressure, and Logan goes down. Sack on the play. That's going to be a loss of four. Going to set up third and five. And what is going on here? We go three and out. And this could be costly right here. Second and three. Bench looking. Bench throwing this one to the left side. It's going to be caught by Bronson. And Bronson makes another catch for another first down. Gain of 15 on that pass play. So it's first and 10. Bench with all day again. What else? new finally gets brought down. We get some pressure. We get a sack. Yes. That's what the doctor ordered. Now it's going to be second and long. 26 seconds to go. Bench. Looking and again has all day. We only rush three. He has all day. That's gonna be caught by Legree, but a huge hit by McGee. A huge hit by McGee forces the fumble. Graves gets on top of it. There's a personal foul for a clipping on us. We didn't have the ball long enough for a clip, Mr. Official, but you know it is what it is. I'm not gonna complain. Matter of fact, it was on them, so let me stop talking. First and 10, 15 seconds ago. We're gonna take a shot deep to McPherson. First down, Bulldogs. First and 10, 10 seconds ago. Logan rolling on, now can stop, pop, and find Amari Watson. That's gonna set us up in excellent field position to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So 21 to six, that is your score at the half. The Open Tip Bulldogs were down, but we are not quitting on this one. We have dreams of going to a big time bowl game, but if we lose to this team, we might be looking at the Beef or Brady's Bowl, and we don't want to go there. Nobody wants to go there, but it was a beautiful tackle on the last play of the drive for USF by my man McGee, forced to fumble, and that might have saved the season, but we do have to play better in the second half. Down by 15, they give the ball to Johnson. Johnson up there, got, gets brought down after a gain of six. Now it's third and four. Bench looking. Bench stumbles a little bit in the pocket. Then he throws his one, but Graves is like, ah, ah, ah. Get that thing about it here. And now it's going to be Oakland Tech football. Third and seven. Logan making adjustments at the line of scrimmage. Has a man over the middle. It's going to be John Easter Day who makes another reception. Only picks up seven and on fourth and inches. 
We are going to go for it. We're looking to adjust the play. No, it looks like he's going to stay with the original play call. Up that get go Stein. And Stein is going to pick up a gain of seven. Move those chains for the Bulldogs. We get the ball to cross face. Up that get and cross face who got hurt in the game. But we had the Simmons. Now he's healthy. The magic of video games. Third and nine. Dropping back. Looking over the middle. Nearly intercepted. That's not good as Logan is 10 for 18 for only 100 yards. Fourth and nine. We decide to go for it. We have a man open. That's McPherson. Beautiful pass right there by Logan. And that's a beautiful catch by Justin McPherson. Three catches, 71 yards for the big tight end. Play action pass. Logan looking. Rolling on out. He's going to throw this one on the, one, on the run to John Easter today who makes another catch. Gain of 16. And that's going to set up first and goal. So we cannot settle for, for a field goal right here. We have got to get this thing into the end zone. That's exactly what we do. Cameron Stein gets in there, and that's going to make it a 21-13 ball game. So USF, they're up by eight as they take over. Second and three. They get the ball to Marlon Mackey. Heads up. Field gets brought down by two Oakland Tech Bulldogs. Defenders Foster McGee combined on the stop. But that will be enough to move the chains. Now it's third and 11. Taking the shot deep. Nearly intercepted by Graves. Looking for his first pick of the season. But he forgot his hands in the dorm rooms. Now anyways, man. Sabella on the screen pass. Woo, makes a man miss. Picks up a gain of seven. Nice Pass play right there. Now it's third and three. Gonna find John Easter. Day over the middle. Move those chains for the Bulldogs. Now it's first and ten. Did we get the ball to Cameron Stein. Cameron Stein picks up a game of four. Setting up third and six. Logan standing tall as he sets up the screen pass. There goes Stein. Picks up a block. Up to the 20 yard line. Breaks the tackle. Bumbling and stumbling his way for a gain of 30 and a first down in USF territory. Second and 10 from just outside the 10 yard line. Logan is looking. Logan Elrod going to take off. Headed to the end zone. Dives out of bounds. But he does pick up enough to move those chains. And set first they go. We get the ball to Stein. Up that guy. And Stein is feeling fine as he gets another touchdown. And that's touchdown number two. And now we have to go for a two. So we come out on the goal line. Set. We get the ball to Stein again. We're going to follow the big fullback and get into the end zone. And now the ball game is all tied up at 21 all. Woo! Beautiful drive right there. This game is going to give me a heart attack. Anyway, first and 10. Ron, <laughs> they're going to find Adams. And Adams, he's going to pick up another first down. His second catch of the game. Marlon Mack runs a man over but gets brought down from behind. And that's going to set up second and six after the four-yard game. They get the ball to Marlon Mack. Mack, he cuts up field. And Mack gets brought down by Bowman. And that's going to set up a very important third down for both teams. With four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Third and three. Bench. Empty backfield. Goes to the flat. And that pass sails out of bounds. And the Oakland Tech Bulldogs hold. So it's first and ten. Going underneath to Amari Washington. Breaks a tackle. Amari gets up to the 45-yard line. Makes another man miss. And finally gets brought down at the 21 your game move those chains for the Bulldogs first and 10 Stein going to pick up another first down gain of 11 for number 24 in your program number one in your heart first and 10 Stein cuts up field Stein is going to pick up another nice game gain of six but now it's third and four Logan with time Logan going to roll out Logan going to stop Logan going to keep going Logan going to slide down and pick up another first down third and five Looking to the end zone. Now we're going to have to settle to the flat. McPherson just got drilled. Oh, my gosh. I hope his mother did not see that hit because I know she'll be looking to kill the boy that hit her boy. Yeah, I said it. Anyways, 24 to 21 is now the score as we settle for a field goal. But there's a minute 12 to go. USF has two of their timeouts. Dropping back to pass his bench. Has time to find Adams who takes a huge hit from Omar. Hit hard. What a smack that was. Now it's first there, 10. Look in his bench. Taking a shot deep his bench. And that's going to be intercepted by West. Austin West gets an interception. And that is going to end this here ball game if we can pick up a first down. Now it's third and 13. We get the ball to Stein. And Stein, he does not pick up enough to move those chains. So with about five seconds go, we are forced to put no Drop snap right there. This is not Michigan, Michigan State. Adams, he's going to cut up field, but he goes nowhere. And that is going to end the ball game. A beautiful comeback by the Oakland Tech Bulldogs. We were down 21-3. to We came roaring back, made it, made it 21-6 to at halftime. And then 
we scored, I want to say, 18 unanswered points. You see what Stein did. He had two TDs on the ground. And you know what? He really did put the offense on his back when we needed to pick up first down and keep the clock moving. Our defense did what our defense does best. That shut fools down in the second half. Usually in the first half, we give them some big plays. But in the second half, we shut things down. We got to... We got to pick McGee. I can't say it enough. McGee with that tackle at the end of the first half. That might have saved this game. I didn't even save our season. I had our hopes of getting to a BCS bowl game. But you see the stats for Logan. Not a bad day. But this back-to-back -back games technically because we had the same last week's game. That he has not thrown a touchdown pass. But he also has not thrown a turnover. See, he is not killing us. Mr. Andrew Luck and Colin Kaepernick, y'all can learn something from Logan. I'm just saying. So, again, Stein, he had 69 yards, but he did get in the end zone twice. Isabella, he averaged 3.6 yards a carry himself. John Easter Day with five reception, McPherson with four, and Amari Washington with three. A solid day through the air, all in all. Wasn't our best passing game by any stretch of the imagination, but you know what? US, UCF, USF, excuse me, has a pretty good secondary, as we saw. But that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, as always. I enjoyed bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hi, sauce.